Morning everybody, Matthew Smith here getting ready for daybreak right now. If you're just waking up, you might have noticed overnight you had a little bit of trouble sleeping. The whipping winds, boy, it was awful. I know uh, I was tossing and turning all night, heard that myself. When I woke up this morning, we found out there were numbers as many as 2,000 people without power overnight. Uh, producers have been tracking it. I just pulled up the maps, a little bit more than 100 people in Douglas County without power right now, a handful in Sarpy and Potawatomi. So weather, big factor last night, this morning, Things seem a little bit better, right, Rusty? Oh, yeah, it's a lot better. We're in the 40s right now. Not going to warm any more than about 51, I'd say. Um, a lot changing during the day. So you had a little mist and drizzle on your walk-in? I did. I had a little bit on the car, but it, it was kind of one of those situations where it wasn't it wasn't accumulating really yeah. quick. Like I didn't notice it like getting my clothes wet. Just kind of spitting and sputtering like that most of the day. May mix in a light shower briefly, but there's chances of that all the way through 4 o'clock. Just not a lot of fun today. Winds pick up again this afternoon, mm. so it's just going to be cooler than yesterday, too. So that's the way it goes. Big changes every single day. It's something new. It's spring. Are we getting ready for a lot of changes? Every day is a little bit different. All right, there you go. Every day is a little different. So, uh, obviously, weather going to be a key one. Uh, we're going to be updating you know, when those people get their power back on. Hopefully, you all are not one of them, and you're not having to watch this on a mobile device. But appreciate you stopping by if you are. Uh, another story we're going to be following, uh, you probably heard a little bit about this. It's our top trending story on WWT.com right now. A man found in a creek in Council Bluffs. We're expecting more information today. That's because an autopsy will be done today. So, hopefully, we'll have some more information. Now, invest Investigators originally saying that it doesn't look like foul play, but of course, we're going to want to keep an eye on that one. And, uh, you know, NCAA tournament, it's going to start tonight. Creighton no longer in it. But one last hurrah, got a little bit of a shout out from Jimmy Fallon right here on NBC. So that was kind of cool. We'll break that down at 5 o'clock. Hey, daybreak from 4.30 until 7. Hope you guys tune in. Thanks.